I started looking at a yoga mat I never use, and decided today I would use it. In this video, we'll be going over how to determine the length of a rolled up material when only given the internal diameter, which in this case is 64.86 millimeters. The thickness of the material, which is 5.79 millimeters. And the outside diameter, which is 133.58 millimeters. How do we go about solving this one? To start, we need the number of rolls. To do so, we can take the outside diameter minus the inside diameter over two times the thickness. We do two times the thickness because for every roll layer, we increase the diameter by two thicknesses, one on either side of the diameter. Next, we'll need to recall the circumference formula for a circle, which is the constant pi times the diameter. Now we need to make a formula for the circumference given a certain number of rules. So we have that the internal diameter plus two times the thickness times the number of rules all times pi is equal to the circumference. Because for every time you make one rotation, the diameter increases by two times the thickness. So at zero rules, or the initial first rule, the circumference would be 203.8 millimeters. I have graphed it in the bottom left of the screen for your reference. The next roll, which is roll one, would be 240.1 millimeters for the circumference, because for this roll, we add two additional thicknesses to the diameter, two times the thickness times one. For the second roll, we would use the same equation, but this time the equation is adding four thicknesses, so two times the thickness times two rolls. Now, if we wanted to get all the circumferences added up, we could add the area underneath this equation line. We can do this by making rectangles and triangles. I've listed a table here where I've done so. I personally would probably take the laser route, which is integrating the circumference equation using the constant rule and the power rule in calculus. Doing so, we're left with pi times the ID times X, which is the number of rolls, plus the thickness times the X number of rolls squared. Looking at the graph, we can really see that this is just an equation for a rectangle plus an equation for a triangle. Now we can plug in the number of rolls we estimated at the beginning, and we get 1,849.9 millimeters of length. Let's see how this compares to the actual value. I measured a length of 71.5 inches, which converts to 1,816.1 millimeters. This gives us an experimental error of 1.8%, which means we are off by 33.7 millimeters or 1.33 inches. I think the cause of the experimental error could be the elasticity of the material, which can be compressed and cause a smaller diameter. That concludes this video. Hope you have earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.